Welcome back to Snooker Mentalist channel. What we're watching here is World Seniors match between John Parrott and Nigel Bond. It's the last 16. And unfortunately John Parrott loses this. So we're watching his last few shots in competitive snooker because he retires after this match. And I'll let the commentary kick back in so you can see the end of the match and the speeches afterwards. But this is something that I've been looking at here on the channel and there's been a lot of comments about old snooker players and you know when do they have to retire can they play till the sixth day can they you know carry on especially with Ronnie getting his seventh title when he's 46 so I've got a video coming um, later on today which will be looking at sort of the different snooker players and their ages and um, how long we think they can carry playing on for Okay, I'll let the commentary kick back in, so cheers for listening, and see you next time. Oh, this looks pretty good. Foul. Yeah, John comes forward to shake the hand of Nigel Bond. He just couldn't get going, John, but Nigel Bond grew stronger as the match went on. And in the end, he defeated John Tarrant. Three frames to nil. Well, Nigel, you've taken part in some epic matches at the Crucible over the years. And the journey continues in this year's seniors. Yeah, um, that weren't the best. It was a bit, uh, a bit scrappy, a bit cagey. Um, but, uh, you know, over the years, John's given me some batterings and, you know, I've maybe won one or two as well. But, um, yeah, pleased to get through. And does it still mean everything to come out on a wonderful stage like this? Of course, we know this is a more intimate, smaller scale event than the one we just watched for 17 days. But look how many people have come out on a Friday night in Sheffield to watch both of you. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's fantastic, you know, the, the support just, you know, for the seniors is, is brilliant, you know, and hopefully the seniors tour is going to grow and grow and grow, um, give us a, f a few more tournaments to play in, um, now I've retired from the main tour, um, so yeah, it's, it's, you know, the, there's no place like it, it's, um, it's every player's dream to play here, and, um, you know, I'm very, very lucky that I've, I've played here over the years quite a few times and um, yeah, love coming back. Well, and you've got to come back tomorrow for the quarterfinals. Many congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Nigel Bond will be returning. John, a little birdie tells me that the people who are gathered here might, might have just watched you in a competitive match for the final time. Is that true? Yes, I, uh, I, have, uh, I have officially retired. And not, because, not, not in the slightest because of the results, just because it's time for other, this circuit's gonna do good things. And there's lots of good players like Nigel who are coming off the circuit who are gonna play in this. And we wanna see it being competitive and I don't wanna take someone's place up who deserves it more than I do. Well, listen, there's too many golf courses. There's too, thank you. There's, there's too many golf courses in the world for me to be playing, so. Um, I've had a great run. Thank you. Thank you. Very kind. I first came here as a 14-year-old boy and I sat in those chairs just right there. They used to be the press box and I came with my father and I walked into the Crucible Theatre and I said, that's what I want to do. And then I was 14, didn't know, nobody knows what you want to do at 14. And I came with my father and came in and this wonderful venue did it for me. And I just wanted to finish here. I don't care, even though it was a bit of tripe that I played it. I wasn't bothered. I just wanted to finish here, and I couldn't finish playing anybody nice. He's been my pal for a long, long time. He's one of the nicest men you will ever meet in your life. So it was great to go out to Nigel. <clears throat> and I hope you realise you're, of course, 
we're still going to see you as part of the BBC coverage, which you've, you've done for such a long time. And it's been your personality and your charisma as much of, as your achievements that have meant you've contributed so much to the sport. We love watching you as part of the coverage. Well, I've gone from playing tribe to talking it, so. <laughs> um, but we absolutely love it. We have a fantastic group that we all, we're all best mates. And, uh, we do, I think we do a very good job on there. I hope, hope the people at home are entertained when we come here. But um, yeah, thank you very much. Um, I absolutely love my job. I love the game with a passion. It's given me everything in my life that I've got. My wife's with me tonight. She's, she's knocking around somewhere. She came, uh, she, last time she was here, was a, oh, she came for the, gra the year Graham Dot won it because he beat me first round. So she's here for that one. Um, <laughs> but she, you've got to go back to 19... 91 or whatever when, when the championship was won and she was here last time so she's come for we, it was nice to have a bit of company in the car coming in and I'm sure she'll be quite emotional as well at the end of it but it's um it's been a fantastic journey I've thoroughly enjoyed it I'm coming up to my 58th birthday next week and as I say I was here when I was 14 and this venue it should never leave it please never leave Sheffield I think we would all echo that uh, you mentioned that your wife is here we have one last little surprise for you because we thought if Karen can come down the tunnel with another, with, an, with another face you might be familiar with and an item that you might want to walk around the arena one last time. John's long-term driver, Tony, ladies and gentlemen, and his wife. And now is the time to get your mobile phones out because John will do a circuit of the arena with the trophy he lifted 31 years ago today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the 1991 champion of the world, John Parrott. A player, a pundit, a commentator, and the most wonderful ambassador our sport could wish for. That brings to a conclusion our coverage this evening from the World Seniors. We will see you first thing tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. But tonight, ladies and gentlemen, belongs to John Parrott.